So we just took a look at how to export data using um, the CSV files. Now, what if you wanted to use FIT files and uh, see how those work? So let's show you how to do that real quickly. If we open up Link for Windows again, again, it should say searching for speed coaches down here. And we're going to go right, uh, far right button on the GPS2 down to data link and hit the far right button again make sure we find our device click on it automatically syncs any data that is been transferred or that is on the unit sorry transfers complete and now instead of exporting this as a csv file i'm going to export it as a fit file so export the file click we could do both at the same time, but uh, I'm going to just do a fit file here. And again, it's going to be my documents, link for window, exported files. And that's where it's going to go as default. So make sure you know where to find that or change it if you do not know how to locate that. I'm going to click OK and then go find the file. And it's going to be in this my documents link for windows exported files area now there's nothing we can do with this file directly it will not know how to open it so what we need to do is go to a website that can handle these types of files so I'm gonna open up Internet Explorer and I'm gonna go to strava.com now I'm already logged in you'll have to make an account but you can make a free account and once you have your account set up what you can do on this site, which is Strava, is this top right button, um, I can upload an activity. Now it's going to look for what file, you, where to find this fit file. And as I just showed you how to find it, let's go to the file button. So let me go to browse. And I'm going to take since I know this is a pretty good uh, longer row than the one I did, um, I'm going to select Yo Speed Coach file. It's going to upload and it's going to, is a duplicate since I've already done this, but let's go to see what this did. As you can tell, it's going to have the date of when it happened, had the distance, the time, and look at this. It's very nicely done. It's going to show us our path along the river it's going to tell us our splits and as we let's just minimize this a little bit so we can see everything on once but I can actually trace my path and see all my different stats during that path so it's showing me my distance at that time the elevation the pace we're, how fast we're going and on the map itself you can see um, where you were and then we could actually zoom in get a closer look to see where we started and there is so many different things you can do with this data um, you could always adjust your settings to show it in kilometers versus miles um, or meters and uh, just a ton of information readily available showing everything about that row. Now Strava isn't the only site. Maybe we want to use uh, Endomondo is another one. Endomondo.com. I have a, an account here as well. And if I want to do an add a workout in this case, it's going to be a different button. A little bit different way to do it. You still want to import from a file and you're still going to have to know where that is located. So Again, you're going to go to My Documents, uh, Nielsen Kellerman Link User Data. We'll grab a different one of Yo's Fit files and open it and hit Next. It'll say What Sport Rowing. We'll do a save. This one was 20 kilometers. And when we're done, Again, it's going to be very similar to what you saw on Strava. Maybe you like this graphical format better. Um, here's your overall summary. 
And again, you can trace your route up and down, knowing everything about it. Um, you can zoom in again on the see the different parts. This one actually has some markers that were put in um, to tell you exactly what you uh, where you were at that marker. And you could go to lap times, see the lap times. Here's the graph. Do time instead of distance and get pretty much everything you would need um, and this one actually had heart rate with it so this is another good program um, some of the others mapmyfitness.com does it um, I don't have an account with this one per se but this is another one you want to try or you can actually just search for uh, fit files and uh, FIT and just see what you can find and come up with all these different cool kind of you can share it with your friends you could have competitions and uh, it's a pretty neat little resource for uh, viewing your row so that concludes fit files uh, if you have further questions you could always contact the third-party provider of the fit files or NK for support